Lock your doors and stay alert. That's the message right now from authorities in San Jacinto County as hundreds of law enforcement officers continue to search for a suspected killer. Francisco Oropesa is still on the run, wanted in the mass shooting in Cleveland. Over the last 24 hours, sightings have been reported from several states. Investigators say 15 people were in that home when Oropesa attacked. 10 escaped, five others didn't. They ranged in age from 25 to just nine years old. They've been identified as Sonia Guzman and her son, Daniel Enrique Lazo, Jonathan Caceres, his girlfriend, Abdulia Molina, and Diana Velasquez were also killed. And new information in the last 12 hours, the FBI is sharing this wanted poster for the suspect. It includes various mug shots through the years and several distinct tattoos. It also covers the $80,000 reward in the case. Michelle Troy joins us live this morning in Cleveland as that manhunt enters its fourth day. Michelle, any leads? Dave and Steph, nothing solid from investigators as they continue to comb through these heavily wooded areas here in this rural part of San Jacinto County. And to make things even more difficult this morning, you can see in addition to the darkness, uh, there is a lot of heavy fog out here uh, hindering the search. In fact, we checked in with Cheetah earlier and she told us the visibility out here is down effectively to zero. Now this comes as there are growing concerns and questions of whether or not Francisco or Peza is even still in this area. A CNN reporting that U.S. Border Patrol has now been briefed to look out for him uh, in case he makes a run to Mexico. The 38 year old suspect is a Mexican national with a history of deportations. The search on the ground focusing on potential sightings of Oropesa in areas west of Cleveland and Montgomery County, but there's still no sign of him. And with a lack of hard information, residents here are understandably worried. I live in the subdivision where the murders took place and uh, it's just terrifying all weekend. You want to be just inside your house, locking the doors, closing your fence, turning all the lights outside so it's not feeling good. Yeah, meanwhile, support continues to pour in for the five victims and their families with growing memorials near their home and outside the school the youngest victim attended. Again, there is an $80,000 reward being offered for any tips leading to the arrest of Oropesa. We'll, of course, continue to keep you updated as we learn more from authorities. Kimberly, back to you. Michelle Troy, thank you for that live report. And during this investigation, authorities have admitted mistakes, including giving conflicting information about how far the suspect may have gotten in the first few hours after the killings. Take, in, take a listen to what Sheriff Greg Caper said on Saturday, then on Sunday. The area has went from um, five or six uh, uh, square miles. It, it could be as much as 10 or 20. Okay. I, I don't remember saying 15 to 20 miles away. I might have said five, but, but we're, we're not going to get into hashing that out. Also on Sunday, additional pictures were released of the suspect, but by mistake, the FBI also released the photo of a different man not connected to these murders. This was circulating for a couple of hours before it was corrected. The photos we're showing you here are the correct ones. According to authorities, we've broken down this full timeline of events on K2U.com. This morning, we're hearing from a friend of Sonia Guzman, the mother who was killed along with her nine year old son. Juanis Lopez shared these pictures with us from when she and Guzman finished cosmetology school together and discussed the shock she's been feeling in the days since Sonia's death. We spoke to her in Spanish. We have the translation on the screen. La verdad, no la conozco ni la conocí, ni, ay, gracias a Dios que no quiero ni conocerla en la vida, porque en verdad que lo que hizo fue algo terrible, terrible, que no tiene nombre. No, no sé ni cómo describir cómo siento en mi corazón en este momento el, que, el pensar que una persona que tenga, que tenga un corazón tan frío. López went on to tell us Guzmán was ambitious, a hard worker, and was determined to make her dreams come true for herself and her family here in the U.S. Once again, 38-year-old Francisco Oropesa is still on the run. You can stay with KHOU 11 for continuing coverage. On our website, you'll find a timeline of the investigation and the manhunt. At 507.